Early mornings are usually the best time to work on these Cuban yo-yos. Each one starts out as a blank made from 2x10 dimensional lumber. Once the halves have been mated together, it's off to the lathe. Friction does, in fact, make heat. Dust in my camera, I hate that. My camera used to be so pretty. This is the most dangerous part of this. We're trying to separate the reel from the stock here. And uh, this, is the, this is the part where if something's gonna go wrong, it'll go wrong right here. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we have. What makes the, what I call the separation so dangerous is if you look here, really? See how jagged that is? Yeah, that's really, really bad. You, you just don't want it to, that's a lot of work. I can never figure out how to get that really, really smooth on the separation. It just breaks off because of the force spinning. That, my friends, is a finished blank on one of my handline reels. That's what it looks like. And this is going out to a customer who's been waiting for a long time on a couple of these. But, uh, after I get these two out, I'll have five more to go. <laughs> to get that real jagged edge off from the separation, you get a round file and just um, you just tear it off. It'll take off lots of material and make it very smooth very quickly. The sandpaper, you have to sit down and sand this part by hand, which does take time. One of the main tests to know whether or not this thing is ready for epoxy is what I call the spin test. Once you're done sanding it and rasping it and really getting it as smooth as possible, how comfortable does it feel when I spin it in my hand like that? You can feel just about any imperfection there. Like I'm feeling one little ridge right there. I need to sand that down. That's feeling pretty good on the left hand. You do both hands. Back of the reel to the palm of the hand. And you just, just like a donut or something. Just one little ridge in there I can feel that I don't like. 